Alright guys, in case you didn't know, Godzilla King of the Monsters came out a day or so ago. That's uh, the sequel to Godzilla 2014, boring middle, the Mutos are pretty charming dot com, hashtag thick dick. Uh, so I've decided to jump on the tier list bandwagon and make a tier list of uh, the different Godzilla suits that have existed through the years. Uh, I'm stealing somebody else's tier list from tierlist.com because I'm just such a lazy, useless piece of garbage. I can't make my own. Uh, so let's get right into it. Who cares? All right, here we go. You got them down here. Let's see if I can fit them all in. Yeah, more or less. We'll start from the top to the bottom. I think these might be in literal air order, pretty much. Eh, it looks pretty close to that. So let's start off right with the beginning. Original Goji. Uh, Gojira. It's between perfect and great. The thing is, is he's the first. Uh, and they nailed the design. He's utterly iconic and gorgeous. I love him. He's a little stiff, but it's fine. I think because he's the first, he has to get perfect. Because every design is based off of him. And the reason why some designs are bad is because they look worse than him. Like the sequel, when he fights Angerdis, and he's a little not as good. He's not even great. I'd put him in decent. He kind of just looks like a fucked up version of the original one, which isn't my favorite. Next, I think this is the Mothra one. This is a pretty good one. He looks good. He's got the normal chunky boy face. Very cute. I like him. Next is Son of Godzilla. He's ugly. He has a very ugly face. He looks like he was hit with a lot of rocks by Abira. Uh, or just, he he looks kind of like what Minya's dad would look like. Just ugly. Not a good one. After that, this is uh, versus King Kong, I believe. Also kind of an ugly looker. Not my favorite. Got a funny face. Uh, he might actually be moved up to just not good other than bad. He's not the worst. Ah, he's, he's bad. He's an ugly boy. Next, this might be another Mothra. I can't super remember all of them. I've seen every movie, but I'm not a fucking god king yet. Uh, I th he's a pretty boy. I love him. I love that look, the hero look of him during the show series. He's a good boy. This guy, he's good. He's a little less good looking than him. Uh, he's actually been demoted to decent, along with this one. And this one. Say this. This is when he fights Mecha Godzilla. I'm pretty sure. He's a very handsome boy. He looks very happy. Uh, we've just steamrolled in about a minute through all of the show, I believe, and we're going right into the Heisei, I think. Uh, actually, no. Wait, here's another show, a baby. He's a good boy too. I love him. Let's get into the Heisei. This is when Godzilla started. They were like, "Hey, let's make him scary again." He's been a hero for a while. So, they made him scary. We're going to start, because I think this is the first one from when he returned. He's an ugly one. He's not a good-looking boy, but he is the progenitor of some real good-looking boys. The thing with the Heisei series is the suits are pretty flip-flop and consistent. Uh, and they all are just handsome, chunky lads. Where I actually skipped a really good one. Uh, Burning Goji is great. He is a very lovely boy. Steaming mad makes you want to call him dad. I love him. And now we have jumped right into the Millennium series. Into the... I don't know what the new series is going to be called now. Shin Millennium? We're kind of a, we haven't named the new series. The new series. Starting with 2014. But let's do Millennium quick. Millennium series is hard for me because I'm not a huge fan of the 2000 look. He's very triangular, I guess. I don't know how you want to call him. He's a weird looker, but he's not a bad looker is the thing. Even though he's weird, he's still decent looking. My favorite, though, is Tokyo SOS when he gets the scar. That's the goodest looking. Very nice of that whole... I don't know what you described the 2000 look, but that look. Then in Millennium, we started to get real weird, where we started to say, who even cares about the other movies? He looks totally different, entirely. Bringing me to two of my favorite designs of Godzilla ever. GMK, where they've embodied his horror aspect perfectly. He's chunky. He's like if Heisei just 
lost his mind. He's an evil boy. I love him. And then after that is Final Wars. Some people don't like Final Wars because it's fucking silly. And it's the goofiest thing ever. And it was ending 50 years, I think. And we're never going to get another Godzilla again. Maybe. But I think the Final Wars design is probably my favorite combination of the original Godzilla. With like a heroic, sleek Godzilla. So he can do karate kicks into space. He's a very pretty boy. And then we get to the controversial controversial three boys. 14, Shin, and 19. 14 is their attempt to fix what we did in 98 uh, with Zilla, Gino, Godzilla name only, whatever you want to call him. But surprisingly, I actually like Gino more. And Gino's not on this list, which is fucking rude. It, it's a Godzilla. He counts. Uh, I'll put him in here. He is a... Good. I like Gino. He's easy to see. He's distinct. He's His design's fine. He's just fucking the most bizarre Godzilla we've ever had, which I love. Uh, but we've also had things like godzilla Saurus and stuff. So he's basically godzilla Saurus if anybody was trying to be a big baby about it. And plus the cartoon's great, and I love Gino. He would be good. Now, 14, I have to put in decent, because I don't love 14. He looks too much like a bear with the gills. He's just taken chunk to the newest state of utter super chunk. That's another thing. They didn't put the anime Godzilla in here. Godzilla Earth. He's just like 14 and 19, where he took the chunk and added it up even more i would put him in decent also uh i don't mind godzilla earth his chunk is funny it's not bad i don't like it's not like these three where they're just ugly to look at it's just kind of silly but still designed well and then i'm just gonna put 19 in decent still i don't I'll put that in not good no, he's still good. Decent. They're decent. They're not... I don't like them. I don't love them, but I don't hate them. He's Godzilla. He's not really what I would want to be the American Godzilla. I actually, like I said, like Gino Moore, which is gonna make every real, real, real kaiju fan mad at me, but you guys can go fucking cry about it. They're a bunch of movies, you big babies. Now, let's go to Shin. Shin's great. I love Shin. Shin is a fun design. He's like GMK where they're like, let's just go fucking wild. Let's go fucking weird. And they made a weirdo. And he's a good keeper. He's a pretty good looker. I love him. He's a fun boy. Uh, and I think we've done already. Wow. That's that's them. Tier list. The worst. Fucking son of Godzilla. Followed by King Kong. Those are really ugly Zillas. And the best. Probably not too shocking with the original and GMK. That's They're pretty well loved designs. I don't think there are many people who dislike them at all. I don't know about Final Wars. I know most humans dislike the movie, but I don't know how people feel about the design. I love the design, like I said. Uh, I don't know. Thanks for watching. Comment about which of these you think is 100% wrong and why the new Godzilla movies are super great designs. He looks like a real dinosaur. You see his gills? He's a fish. I don't give a fuck. Go slob on my kneecaps. Kneecap fetish. Bye.